hello students today we are going to learn euler's formula and its applications in case of three dimensional figures there are certain number of faces certain number of vertices and edges and there is a relationship among them so this relationship is called euler's formula sometimes people call it euler's formula so in this video today we are going to learn about cube cuboid prism and pyramid so let's begin now with cube in case of cube we know its height its breadth and its length all are equal now we have to count number of faces vertices and edges in case of a cube there are six faces in case of cube how see there are two faces one is at the bottom and other one is at the top plus two more faces are one is at the back and one is on front and there are two more faces one is at right side and one is at left now let us count number of vertices there are eight balls four are four are at bottom and four are at top so total eight vertices are vertices are there in case of a cube now we have to count number of edges these are edges we can count four edges are at the bottom and four are at the top and rest four are like pillars so total edges are 12 in case of a cube so if we add up faces plus vertices it will become 14 and we have 12 edges also so we can subtract 12 from this 14 and we got 2 this is the relationship and this relationship is called euler's formula same is the case of a, of a cubic but length breadth and height all or any two will be different in this case at least any two rest everything is same number of faces will be 6 number of vertices will be 8 and number of edges will be 12 only so again if we add number of faces plus number of vertices and subtract edges then we got 2 now a square pyramid see this is called a square pyramid because its base is a square it may be a rectangle it may be a triangle or it may be a pentagonal structure accordingly we give them name first of all we have to count number of faces in case of a square pyramid there are five faces four you can see we represented with the help of arrows and fifth one is the base the square base which is in red color so total number of faces are 5a now number of vertices there are five vertices you can see in form of balls four balls are at the bottom and one is at the top so total number of vertices are 5a now with the help of this euler formula we can find out the value of edges or we can count it if in case we want to count it we can count it here there are four edges at the bottom and four edges are like pillars okay so total number of edges are eight here again in this this case of a square pyramid we get number of faces 5 number of vertices 5 and number of is it 8 and if we add up first two and subtract the third one from the result then we get 2 this is again proved now let us talk about triangular prism first of all count number of faces in this case we have two parallel triangles and one is rectangular structure at the bottom and two rectangular structures are joining each other at the top of 
and uh, you know triangles so we got total five faces now vertices count the number of vertices here one two three four five six now we are left with edges only so we can calculate with the help of Euler formula okay so it should be 9 because 6 plus 5 11 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 let us count it practically see these arrows are representing edges so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 9 edges again 6 plus 5 minus 9 is equal to 2 now shortcut to remember Euler's formula so we have to write 5 first now put one horizontal line here and make it plus okay and one horizontal line here and make it minus is equal to 2 always so that's all in this video thank you for watching